lovelies, welcome back to Bren's Beauty Boutique. I'm Bren, of course, and welcome back to my channel. So I actually just finished filming, or so I thought, this I look for you guys, only to realize that I never hit record on the camera. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start over with this eye. And hopefully I can uh, get things evened out here and remember everything that I did. Here we go. So we have the Tarte Shape Tape in Porcelain Beige as well as Cover FX Power Play Concealer in White. And we're going to mix those two. I'm actually going to mix them on the back of my hand. We're going to be using some bright colors today and that is why I've chosen to prime my eyes with these two. Notice I'm going up into my brow line, you guys, because I kind of want to hide some of those brows. And I'm going to smudge that out just a little bit to kind of blend it in with my skin so we don't have real harsh edges on the inner corner and the outer edge. So to avoid wrinkles, crinkles, and creases in my lid, you guys, I am going to keep my eye closed for just a few minutes, let everything dry down and set really well before we get started. So for the brows, we're going to use the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. This came in the Boxy Lux. And we're going to use the lighter shade here. And we're going in with an angled MAC brush. Now for the brows, I want to go up and out. I'm not going to completely follow my brow shape here, you guys. As you can see on the other eye, I went more straight across here. Instead of following the droop at the edge of my brow. As you can see, I lifted my brows on the outer edge here because I want a little more lid space in order to be able to use all of these gorgeous colors. That being said, we're moving on now to the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shades palette. It is gorgeous, you guys. I was so excited to dip into this palette. It's the first time I've used this palette. It is beautiful. So using the Wayne Goss number 17 brush, we are going into the color Lemon Drop. And I'm just keeping it real high up, almost up to the brow. See how much real estate we created there by lifting the brows? I'm going to bring it all the way in toward the nose. Just back and forth motions following the created brow line. Next we're going into the color a Splash. And that's going into our crease. We're just blending it out, depositing the majority of the color and pigment into the crease, and then once the majority of that pigment is off the brush, we'll start going down onto the lid a little bit and blend it and buff it out into the yellow shade, just keeping everything blended like so. And we're going to blend that out just a little bit more using the color Crushin right there. Just kind of placing that right over the line where those two other shades meet. Mm -hmm. 
Next we're going to take the Luxie 209 large shader brush. You guys might recognize this from the Boxy Charm box. And we're dipping into Jet Set. We're just going to pack that onto the lid right over the top of the other shade. Concentrating most pigment right on the mobile lid area and then bringing it up. Notice I'm not really bringing this pigment toward the outer edge of the eye. I want to keep that area a little brighter. Next we're going into the color Cute. And that color is going up and around the blue. Just packing it on again, you guys. So looking at my other eye, I'm pretty sure I laid down the purple color first when I did this eye and then the blue on top of it, but it's okay. We're just gonna go with it, you guys. We're just gonna go with it, no big deal. Might turn out even, might not. It's okay. And then going back in again with the Wayne Goss 17 brush, we're dipping into Party Dip. That's going on our outer edge. Just gonna pack it on a little bit onto the outer edge. Come right over that crease area where the colors are all meeting and right on into the inner lid area. Going back in with the Luxie 209 again, and this time dipping into Drip Drop. And we're packing that on the inner part of the lid and following the socket line, my socket line, we should follow your socket line. Just brightening up that blue a little bit. And using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in white, we are going to create a cut crease. following my socket line here you guys I'm going to pull that down onto the lid you guys aren't sure how to find your socket line or if you need help doing a cut crease I do have a video on that and I will go ahead and Put the link for that video down below. I'm going to feather the ends out just a little bit with the brush. And then I'm going to come back in and feather a little bit more using my finger. And I'm also going to soften things out a little bit on the inner corner here. I'm trying to get an angle where you guys can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to take the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Freedom placing it right on top of the cut crease we just created. Most of the pigment should go on the inner corner of the eye, graduating outward. I am going to go in with a little more of the color Vibes right here. Place that right here. I'm just patting it on there. And this is just a correction, you guys, because I laid down that blue before the purple and that is not how I did this eye so no big deal just take a little corrective action and now I'm going to take my heroin make uh, liquid eyeliner this is a waterproof eyeliner but I love it because of the thin tip and it's a little bit flexible going all the way in And then before I get to the edge of my eyelid, or my lashes, I'm going to draw a wing line. I'm not going up real far. We are gonna go in with this Gucci pencil eyeliner in black. 
hitting it as close as possible to the lower lash line. Using this Real Techniques shading brush, I'm going to go into the color Vibes. Coming back in with the color Party Dip. We're going to bring that in just a little bit more on the inner corner and on the lower lash line. Then we're going to dip into the Riviera palette. We're going to take just a little bit of the color Sails right here, that really bright matte white. And brighten up that inner corner a little bit. All right, my friend, so I put on these Lily Lashes in the style Marissa. I picked these up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. If you watched my Ulta haul, then you would have seen these in that haul. And I really like them. They're actually really beautiful. I thought they might be a little too va va boom for me, but I really like them at least for this kind of look anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed using uh, these really bright colors today. I'm always grateful for you guys carving a little time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button. You guys love to have you on board as part of my YouTube family. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. I will see you soon. Bye.